there are so many different peoples from so many different places mm. who identify as something and then the big umbrella is Pacifica mm. and sometimes here I think it gets into oh they just fit in this box yes. and it's like no they don't and there are differences different perspectives that they bring um, which is quite different to my perspective yeah. in terms of um, family involvement and community involvement getting away from that individual style learning to the more community style mm. learning and being much more inclusive of people that are right. not just thinking, it's not just about your subject that you're teaching, it's thinking about your learners. We um, need to lighten up a little bit, bring oh. more humour mm. and fun and food mm. and to, you know, to mm. have to make that it's okay. I was just talking about this with colleagues today too, you know, how we sort of have this feeling that if we go to a kind of social event, it's like, hey, that's a special treat and a bit of a luxury to be able to take time out to go and join those people doing doing that activity, whereas it should be an essential part of building, mm. you know, building relationships. I think that's that was another thing. Building relationships is an essential part of the learning process. So much research has already been done and we actually already have in the main the knowledge to help our Pacific students succeed. We have we just have to do it. And that's not just about people on the ground trying their best, but about thinking about how we change our systems and our processes so that we actually can do it. Yes. In terms of looking at education as a family and community activity, a lot. I guess I was a little aware of that already, yep. but you know, having um, that helped to embed that for oh, me, right. and um, and definitely channel my thinking. I think I felt more confident, and I think I have started to think about um, Pacific development and our Pacific strategy as something that we can do. Awareness <laughs> and that knowledge that came with it, and taking the time to think a bit more about it. So hopefully it sort of becomes a, um, becomes part of my practice that I'm more aware and therefore I can sort of do a few more things. Just another reinforcement level yeah. of, of this is the direction that we, we need to go in and it's about respecting people mm -hmm. ultimately and so I think it's extremely worthwhile and as I say it just it's just a really great reinforcement of this is this is the way to go. The initial resources showing the video interviews with different um, Pacifica students and the student who said that she wanted to be able to um, go through university and complete her degree without feeling like she was going to lose her values or her sense of herself and um, that, that was really kind of galvanizing or motivating for me both in the workshop and in my thinking afterwards. I think you've done a fantastic job with mm. the wheel. Um, it's yes. really eye-catching and it's very succinct and it's very easy to understand. Yeah tools that were being used in terms of measuring outcomes and stuff like that and what was being done elsewhere. A lot of the, the practical suggestions that came out of the workshop and the suggestions about structure and so on all came back to that, that first aim of supporting the students to not just be who they are but stay with who they are.